Hey guys, it's Jess from Hong Kong Burning Reviews. I hope everyone's having a great one, no matter what time it is. And um, I'm just going to jump right into it. The first one, or the first one, the video is for these. And it's something that I have wanted for a long, long time. And it is a bag resealer. They have the pink and the orange. I'm going to try this out on the orange. I have not used this product yet. So it's going to be one of those videos where I probably make a fool out of myself trying to figure out how to do this. And I don't even know if I have the right batteries in front of me. Looks like it. Um, takes two AA batteries right in the bottom nothing nothing that you have to move or tear or anything like that or uh, unscrew it just goes right back on there basically let me see if there's any instructions um no well, we gotta thank you with 10 percent off code and we have 12 tips for easy use. Install batteries and unit is then activated upon closing. Make sure batteries are new and strong. Make sure the protective plastic flap, which is this, is pulled down. For first use, wait 5 to 10 seconds after closing sealer for wire to get hot enough. Smooth and flatten out bag for best sealing condition. So I actually, I actually do have a bag here, and I'm just going to take and cut, cut it along here. Obviously, it's not straight. It's straight enough. Um. And that way, that would get rid of all the excess and take up probably a lot less space. Um, smooth and flattened bag. Start in the middle. Go out to one end. Then middle again. Go out to other end. Don't apply much pressure. Just enough to close it on the bag. Don't leave the sealer in one place for too long. It might burn through the bag. Might require going over twice to get a better seal. Works best with mylar and cereal bags. Practice on an empty bag first if possible since some practice helps to get the hang of it. The thinner the bag, the faster you should move the sealer. The thicker, the slower. Also try folding the edge where you're doing the seal one time before sealing as this seems to make the sealing easier and more effective. So I guess we'll just do this. And it doesn't, ooh, it doesn't say whether you're just supposed to fold it and then unfold it or just keep it folded. We're going to see here. I'm going to take it. And I'll do it this way. Just so you guys can see. All the way over. Then you go. Back in the middle. Oh no. Don't hold it on there long. <laughs> back in the middle and over let me check this oh, I know this side did not do very well so I'm gonna go back on this side and try it again let me try it from this way that might be a little easier. And just 
just pull it right along there. That seems a lot better that time. And I'm going to uh, go over the side just one more time again just to make sure. And let's see. And it is actually sealed. That is pretty awesome. Obviously, you need to make sure about the amount of air and stuff that's in there. And it should be pretty easy to open back up. I don't see why it would not be. And uh, <clears throat> it is sealed, as I showed you. But I'm just going to go back through this side one more time. Just to make sure. Because it just looks so much different than the other side. But yes, it is actually sealed. There's no on or off button. Nothing like that. You just push it down and move it along. Um, I'm going to try on this bag right here. Hopefully it doesn't burn it. You can see it does open. I'm going to fold it down. There is that strip of glue right there. But technically this should... Shouldn't have to worry about the glue. Let's see. Middle. Over. Ooh. Wow. Too far. Middle. Over. And let's see. Yeah, that is really cool. Like like I said, I've always wanted these for a really, really long time. And I just never had the money <clears throat> when, you know, I saw them. I never had the money to get one. These aren't, you know, the designs that I'm used to, but still pretty cool. I like that they also, pretty sure this is a magnet right here. Although, I'm, I don't know if they can do the magnets next to the batteries or not. But I'm pretty sure this is the magnet right here. Just uh, put it right onto the fridge and you're ready to go. <clears throat> like I said, there's no on and off. Nothing like that. It's just you put the batteries in and magically it is ready to go. They have this piece right here. You just take push it up over. That way when you're not using it, you're not sealing anything. It's protecting the part. I don't know how it works, but I love it. And it's going to save us a lot of money in the long run. We throw a lot of chips in that away because it's stale. Um, I know that they say that these are chips, but it's basically the instructions on how to do it. They, it's really, really, really simple. And... Um, I'm not sure if everyone gets two or if I just got two by accident. Mine just says orange. It doesn't say anything about pink and... Oh, yep, two pack. So, yes, you do get two. And they're, they're really small, easy to use, easy to maneuver. Pretty awesome, I have to say. But I am definitely going to be going around and sealing everything that we have around here to uh, save some money. But yes, pretty cool. Very, very, very simple. I'm sure the batteries would last for quite a while. I don't see why they wouldn't. Uh, I like the design. I like how easy it is to use and that it actually works. That is one of the best parts. It actually really does work. Um, but yes, I'm going to leave the link down below. Uh, like I said, it's a two-pack, so you get two of them. I'm probably going to give the second one to my mom and uh, let her seal some of her stuff up. So thanks guys so much for watching. Please go to the link and uh, check these out. They are totally, it's totally, totally worth it. And it's a great idea and a great way to save money. I uh, appreciate everyone watching. I hope everyone has a great one. Um, thanks guys.